to another magical cocktail adventure. I am Helen and today we are still celebrating 2020 with a brilliant cocktail called a Ginger Ricky. I found this cocktail once again from our fabulous Thunderbirds Argo cocktail book, Lady Penelope's Cocktails. Thank you, Donna, for my wonderful gift of this book. Now, as you can see, we are still on location. We're at our great friends, Donna and Joe's wonderful home in the Blue Mountains. We're having a brilliant time. So let's make our Ginger Ricky cocktail. We have five ingredients. We have fresh lime juice, fresh ginger juice, definitely going to give this cocktail a big kick. We have some fantastic fresh pineapple cubes, an incredible ginger beer. Now this ginger beer is alcoholic, it's your choice. You can use an alcoholic ginger beer or a non-alcoholic ginger beer. This one we found in the Long Point Winery in Port Macquarie and it is truly a superb ginger beer. And we have a gin. You want to use a London dry gin. And today I am using Gin Lane 1751. It's produced in the UK and I've never tried this one. So we're tasting this one today. So let's make our Ginger Ricky cocktail. It's very exciting. So you want to use a Boston shaker because we're going to muddle our pineapple. So we're going to place it says four, but I'm going to put five pineapple cubes into our Boston shaker like so. Then we're going to use this fantastic muddler, 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 and we're going to just give this a nice muddle. So basically we're smashing this pineapple, getting all those juices and flavors out of the pineapple cubes. We give it a really fantastic muddle. So let's muddle it up like a cup. <laughs> okay, so that is looking really beautiful. Got a lot of juices coming out there. It's a great muddle. So that's that. Then we're going to add a few more ingredients. So we want to use one teaspoon of our lime juice. So there we go, one teaspoon. I'm going to put just a titchy more because it's a, it's a smaller teaspoon that I have. Then we want 15 ml, which is half an ounce of ginger juice. Now, I truly believe this is going to give this cocktail a massive kick. So ginger juice goes in, 15 ml into there. Now we want the the last ingredients we're going to put into our into our Boston shaker is the gin, and we want 45 ml, which is one and a half ounces. So we'll put 15 in here with this measure. 15 gets poured in, and 30, which makes 45. Voila! And then we're going to shake this. But first of all, I'll put a little bit of ice in. If you have a citrus in a cocktail, you want that is a shaking cocktail, you want to put ice in because the ice actually allows that citrus to release a bit more of its, pers its personal zing. So you get a little bit more of that citrus taste with the ice and the shake. So that is a nice amount of ice goes in. We have Donna's gorgeous ice bucket with us today. And we put the lid on and let's give it a shake. So let's shake this up, Buttercup. Let's shake up 2020. Shake it up, Buttercup. Woo hoo! All right, a little bit more of a shake. Looking fantastic. All right, there we have a beautiful shake. Now, the next step is pouring this into our glass. I'm going to use this fantastic glass Donna has in her cupboard. It's very versatile glass. I really don't know the name. You can, it's like a variation of a champagne flute. You could use it for a martini. It's, it's use, you could use it for so many things, which is fantastic. Now, we do want to use a strainer to strain this in. First of all, I will put a little bit more ice in because where we are in Australia at the moment, it's summer. 
So let's put some ice in. First into our glass like so. And then we're just going to strain this in. Look at that, a beautiful strain. Now we're supposed to put 100 ml of our ginger beer, so I hope I've left enough room for the 100 ml. So 100 ml is three and a bit, three and a third ounces, I think. So let's do this. Whoop, I've got a little bit of a head there, so I'll let that settle down and keep pouring. So there's 90 ml of our ginger beer goes in. So we want a little bit more. Whoa, look at that, a beautiful froth. Ginger beer goes in like so. It's very exciting. And I have this fantastic new alcoholic stopper that my sister gifted me for Christmas. I love her. She's a goddess, cocktail fairy goddess. All right, now our garnish for the ginger ricky. I have dehydrated some pineapple slices and they just came up so good. And I must say, when I was dehydrating these pineapples, the smell was delicious. I've also put on this butterfly because you know, it is 2020, we are in a new decade and the butterfly symbolizes new life, new beginnings. So let's place that there on our glass with a bit of a peg. And I'm also just going to finish it off with two fantastic pineapple leaves, the top of the pineapple. And voila, there we have our ginger ricky cocktail. It's very exciting. My favorite part of the show is tasting, so let's give it a taste. Mm. Oh my goodness, wow. That gives you a real zing. I think next time I make it, I will just bring down the ginger juice a little bit. Five, possibly 10. I think I'd try it with five. It really gives it a zing. But I think a little less ginger juice will allow all those flavors to come together more balanced. But really, let's give it another go first. It's, it's pretty good. Let's put a little bit more ginger beer in. Voila, a little less ginger, and I think we've got it absolutely perfect. Mm. Yeah, yes, that is truly a zinging cocktail for 2020. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to say a big hello to Zach, who lives in Sanford, Queensland, Australia. Thank you so much for watching, Zach. Thank you for support. Thank you for loving the show. That's it from me. If you've loved today's show and the magic of this incredible cocktail, you're welcome to give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and you're certainly welcome to subscribe and ring the bell for more cocktail magical notifications. Thank you so much. I'm Helen, the cocktail queen of Mount Tambourine. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers. Mm. The ginger ricky packs a punch. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. It's incredible. A little bit less ginger, but it'll be incredible. Thank you.
Oh, he likes the ginger, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs>